Welcome to this special coffee with yours truly, Adrian Hana Dragon. We're going to be having a cup of coffee. First and foremost, my message to all my willingly loving allies and armies that your legions, legions. Is make love tonight because life is fucking short brothers and sisters so with consent and hygiene start loving kissing hugging hug hard hug hard like you never did before I your story born age and age dragon died during COVID Triple vaccinated, open for business. <laughs> Primarily the business of the dancing goddess and the dragon kingdom. Which you are still the androgynous pansexual founder of the dancing goddess. And the dragon kingdom founded. With 718 trillions, trillions, trillions. Yes, I said T-R-I-L-L-O-N-S. Trillions of kisses. Credited from the goddess. Which, which which dances with her brother the sun as the sun now rises and now sets so yours truly has founded the dancing goddess and the dragon kingdom with 718 trillions of kisses <laughs> and yes I did say goddess g-o-d-d-e-s-s -S. <laughs> holy sacred and divine word still still offends some doesn't it Goddess, G O D D E S S. Because most of you, God, God, got it all the time. Well, I gotta balance it with the Goddess, G O D D E S S. Goddess of many names. Dances with her brother, son, and makes, creates, and produces all A L L fruits, vegetables, and legumes that our brothers and sisters, farmers, harvest. For us to make, upgrade, or maintain civilization. So, leaders of the free world. <laughs> How would the Dragon Army to go give those farmers a massage and foot wash? <laughs> a good I love you hug. And those truckers who carry the goods now across North America. Entering Hawkeye to Montreal and going round about it. East, West, North, South. I'm grateful, thankful my rent is paid. Paid my rent April. My electricity bill is paid. A third of my phone bill has been paid. Send me a text that I am late by $77. <laughs> and got food to continue this journey, ongoing world peace advocacy, poetry, the art, loving, marching, dancing. Calling all willing and loving to support the mission, vision, and philosophy thereof of your truly hidden Hana Dragon's dancing goddess and the Dragon Kingdom. Universal Spiritual Meditations is the topic today. We'll be discussing, let know that I'm doing the live streams. I do not respond to. Are you come in, comment, X, Y, Z. It's not an interactive, although we can set one up. <laughs> interactive <laughs> interactions. Meditating this coffee. Oh, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I gotta be grateful again as I found this jar of honey. Found it on special, so bought it the other day. And just want to mention, as I am calling for world peace and an immediate ceasefire in Ukraine, Russia, an immediate ceasefire to all global conflicts, as I am calling the leaders of the free world to come march in Hawkeye and Montreal in steel toe boots, <laughs> round about Mount Royal for the discussion of my trinity of theories known as citizen integration theory. Debt refusion theory and democratic fusion theory and citizen integration theory and debt refusion theory. 
or the implementation thereof and the creation of the two complementary covenant cooperative institutions of the International Citizen Integrated Social Security and Service Force, aka the Dragon Army, complementary to the International Integrated Dance League, the Dancing Goddess Army, for pleasure and for purpose, and the creation of a new economic system by the application of my theories for purpose and for pleasure and with the support of the Trinity Dancing Goddess Army, Dragon Army and the Global Dragon Union. This honey was made, created and produced. Beautiful bees bzz, 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 hovered over different flowers. Worked farmer grower of honey producer in the countries of as you see here it says Thailand Tunisia country of Thailand and Ukraine 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 thereof I'm gonna be open it I'm glad grateful and all fruits vegetables and legumes are made created and produced by the dance of the goddess which, which was dances with her brother's son who now the sun rises and now sets to do a meditation right now it's 3 17 p.m in Hawkeye Montreal so it's sunset in about four hours and 18 minutes it's a bit dark grayish raining a little bit but if we subtract we go west coast that way that way is the west coast all the way to Vancouver British Columbia Seattle, Washington State, LA, California. We subtract as we go west, we subtract the time zones. So it's minus three hours, so it's 12 18 p.m. now, barely noon, lunchtime. But it's still got more than seven hours of sunlight because the sun rises and sets at this point in time every second somewhere in the world. Every second, every moment, the sun rises and sunsets somewhere in the world. The goddess, planet Earth, Mother Nature, the greatest artist and scientist, makes and creates fruits, vegetables and legumes that our brothers and sisters, farmers, harvest for us to make, upgrade or maintain civilization. Hopefully at least maintain. Hopefully with creative ideas. I do firmly believe that my trinity of theories written in the past more than seven years with one foot in the streets the other foot in the libraries or, which were made my second home and read tens of thousands of books wrote tens of thousands tens of thousands tens of thousands of pages of poetry philosophy art theory rap songs chant pop songs lyrics creative ideas scenarios scripts for movies etc 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 which I'm going to be keep on sharing in this coming days, weeks and months ahead if anybody willingly loving to support DM and my official volunteer representative Red Seal I yell work will direct if you want to make a commission, commission a video or of course make a donation of whatsoever yours truly. Please feel free and make sure you may be blessed threefold. <laughs> Honey from Thailand and Ukraine. calling for an immediate ceasefire calling the leaders of the free world to come meet me in Hawk Island Montreal in order to march around the Bound Mount Royal headquarters of the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Kingdom the mountain system the system of mountains three peaks exist in the downtown core area center south center of Hawk Island Montreal a big populated metropolitan city my home beautiful island for many 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 years blend of honey from Ukraine and 
Thailand bought it on special. I seen it on special. He had a week. I said I have not had coffee and milk, honey with coffee, and I hadn't purchased honey in a while. So I said I'm gonna purchase it. I'm gonna sweeten this cup of coffee with a little bit of honey. Spirituality. How do we define it? How do we incorporate it in our daily lives? We don't have to. What for? Spirituality, what is that? I can't eat it. One of my theories, not theory, but universal spiritual teaching student is about the sanctity, the inherent spirituality of eating. You might say somebody, hey, Eating, what are you talking about? Eating is the most physical thing, physical activity which one can indulge and one can do is eating. That's one perspective, one opinion, one way to see it. But of course, if we delve deeper, a little bit deeper into it, and can see that yes, within the food, there is energy, it's vitality. Like this cup of coffee, do a meditation. I meditated, for example, how the black fertile earth contains the grains and the seeds and makes grow the coffee plant, which is a big plant, right? And it's a red berry, a red berry, a red berry. Which contains the black and shades of black and dark brown the coffee bean of different shades of black brown it's con originally in a red berry right ah. and how it's produced intangible oh wait a minute say physicality the black fertile earth is physical physical the, the, the ground the fertile black earth is physical thing why are you talking about spirituality well but there's a process right? there's a process a process is transformation of the seed and how does it come about well it comes about with water these holy elements of water or mysterious elements, if you will, like water. Needs the water, fertilize. Needs the rain, the river. Like the rivers, the rivers, the rivers. Like around the Hawkeye to Montreal, Montreal being an island, are surrounded by a big river. We're not how many Montrealers are actually conscious on a daily basis that we live on an island, a big island, but nonetheless an island. We are not connected to big landmass, Montreal. We have bridges. We have bridges, bridges, bridges. And there are little islands around about the big island of Montreal, right? Surrounded by other smaller islands. But Montreal is an island. To me, from above, it looks like a bird, a hawk. Spread wings, right? It looks a bird with spread wings. Twitter, it looks like a sock, like X, Y, Z. But nonetheless, it's an island with an interesting... To me, bird-like shape from above, right from above, from above. And if we are here in the physical world, of course, we don't usually see or connect to see from from above. In a parallel life, science, innovation, and technology, where supercomputers, satellites, ICBM rockets, gadgets, telecommunication satellites, is my path. In that parallel life, I'm a hybrid of Elon Musk, Sheryl Sandberg, and Bill Gates. I'm a hybrid in that parallel life. Anything to do with supercomputers, ICBMs, and satellites, I know it. In this life, independent artist, activist, athlete, AAA, world peace advocate, 
universal spiritual teaching student because I do have a lot of questions and do not claim to have all the answers. Do not claim to have all the answers. Do not claim to have all the answers. I have some spiritual practices, meditations, especially contemplative contemplation and consciousness, reaching higher levels of consciousness. But my spirituality is also um, one of the body, the physicality. Not denying the physicality. Or playing it self-righteous. I lust. I do lust. <laughs> As a matter of fact, CSIS ceases. Canadian Secret Service, CIA, NSA, United States of America, FSB, well, German, Mossad, Mossad, Mossad. Live on Facebook, I admit, I admit, I watched some pornography during the Sabbath, during the weekends, and I did uh, self-pleasure myself, and I did fantasize, and I did, uh, I did masturbate. There you, go. <laughs> you don't have to hack me. Money I don't got. <laughs> I have a spirituality that doesn't turn the other cheek, may I be avenged elevenfold. I don't turn the other cheek, may I be avenged elevenfold. I don't turn the other cheek, may I be avenged elevenfold. Spiritual practices. Spiritual teachings. Is there a spiritual evolution? idea between spirituality and energies. A variety of different energies, confluent and sometimes in conflict, exist right now. It's 3.28 p.m. Hawkeye, Montreal. It's April 10th. I just celebrated the writing of a holy, sacred, and divine book as this wannabe Telemite and non-sectarian, non-sectarian, non-sectarian and universal spiritual teaching student written by the world's greatest ever poet. It contains mystic poetry which took me 13.3 years just to understand a few sentences and a few verses from. I don't know at all. I do know Drinking this cup of coffee with some honey. With some honey in it. I know how the honey was created from the flowers. And the flowers grew from the black fertile earth of water. And of course I didn't mention one important ingredient. Very important. The rays of the sun containing nutrients, vitamin D, light, life, heat. Right and now, oh, a little sunshine burst. At a macro scale, so much sunlight is being shed at this moment in time. Across Canada, United States, Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Panama, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Going down to Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, Ecuador, Chile, Uruguay, Paraguay, Argentina, Brazil, and the islands, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and all ALL, the American continent. Here, North America, Hawkeye, Montreal, Canada, Central America, right, to South America. South, North, and Central. Central, North, and South. All the American continent at this point in time. From one end to the other. Light and life and light and nutrients from the sun. At a macro, macro, macro scale is being shed. Right, as you see the emblem of the dancing goddess who dances with a bird of the sun. There, yeah, right. And that creates, by that dance, when I say it's a more mystic, spiritual way of putting it, there's a scientific and they can go hand in hand together is my philosophy to bridge the gap between the spiritual and the scientific and this applies to all my 
sexual, political, financial theories. Yes, we 2 plus 2 does equal 4. But it doesn't mean that we have to write it in one color. We can write it in black and white, red and green and yellow, purple, orange, pink. 2 plus 2 in Adrian Hanna Dragon's way is we mix the black and the white and all the colors of the rainbow. So the two can be green, the plus, one line black, the other white, the other two can be red, the equal can be black and white again, and the four can be one line orange, the other purple, and another blue. So we can incorporate, integrate in that equation, two plus two equals four, all the colors of the rainbow and the black and the white. Right, in that harmonious equation. We don't have to write it in one color. The whole world is full of color. Green, flowers, purple, red, right? Purple, red. And there's the black and the white with all the colors together and the sun rays and the dance of the goddess who dances with the brother sun are always continuously the sun shedding light life and heat now is the sun increasing in strength is the sun has increasing in power Open question. My feeling intuition says yes. Is the sun the eye of God? I don't know. <laughs> right? Names of God. How do we names relate to different forces and actions? How do we attain a justice? Can we have a non-sectarian and I am strive to be in all things non-sectarian, non-sectarian, non-sectarian. A global civilization. Right? Spiritual, universal spiritual teaching student is also about love is action. Love is action, love is action. And right now, let's say I'm, nobody's watching anyways, but <laughs> if we're documenting my fitness journey and my struggles and my philosophy and my art and my poetry and my blood, sweat and tears and my fitness journey, my self-education and I'm learning every day I don't know it all <laughs> Elon Musk you're watching is watching what I've got in my fridge with satellites <laughs> <laughs> inviting Elon Musk this underground room of St. Temple with Kanye and leaders of the well, it's a small place so three at a time to discuss world peace The high technological, scientific aspects of life. Right now I'm using a smartphone. I'm grateful, thankful for this smartphone. I'm live streaming. In theory, maybe nobody's watching. Maybe one person is watching. Maybe a hundred persons, a thousand, could be. Better not, better not more than one or a dozen. <laughs> I'm just a piece of dust, dancing dust nonetheless. I am a piece of dust, but I'm a dancing piece of dust. I am a piece of dust, but I'm a dancing piece of dust nonetheless. And I don't want to give universal spiritual teachings and lectures in front of people when, if they're not hugging or kissing let's say I'm lecturing now meditating chanting mantra or 
or meditating on a sunrise, sunset, midday sun, midnight, um, discussing, let's say, in front of some of my brothers and sisters. And I see, I see them start kissing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a way to go. <laughs> Start a hug. Make each other take a good massage and neck rub. Well, that's spiritual. What's the problem? <laughs> Yesterday and the day before, I went, I went on a walk. I saw a couple on a bench. Doing love. Doing love or kissing, like happy. Yes, yes, yes. There is hope. Because otherwise, my brothers and sisters, what the fuck are we fighting to save for this civilization? If somebody's not making love and kissing now and hugging now, 3 p.m., 3.37 p.m., or, or tonight, or whatever, the fuck are we fighting to save this civilization for? CEOs of corporations. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Athletes in the NBA, NHL, hockey playing, hockey playing, CEOs of owners of those Patriarch, Patriarch, Patriarch. Nothing against you, brothers. Got love for you, but I know many of you are LGBTQ like me and struggling. Colin Sib is not the only NFL player in the NFL who's LGBTQ, that's for sure. I hope you will support the Dancing Goddess on formation. That's my hope. Balance, equation, patriarchal. Not to destroy and demolish. Some things need to be reformed, changed. Some things we need to move past, jump. Move on, we do. Integrate, balance, harmonize. I don't claim to be perfect. I struggle. My psycho spiritual theories we have a trinity of self, of the spiritual self, with the lowest of the low and extreme and the highest of the highest, but usually the trinity with the lower self, and then balanced self and the higher self and then the highest of higher of the higher and the lower of the lower usually we're most in the middle low or low middle or middle towards the high i'm with one foot trying to balance in the middle in the balanced spiritual aspect of self but there are these things in us which are not easy to admit right jealousy I don't want to do things out of resentment and jealousy or X, Y, Z. I've been there, was suicidal, was depressed. Repressing feelings and emotions will, will not empower us, will not make us any better. Right? Quite make us diseased and X, Y, Z, just upset, right? And it's not easy, right? It's struggles, there's struggle, even in the spiritual attainment. Like I say, the goddess dances with her brother's son. Wow, look at that. Look at the trees. Trees, the trees. Well, that's just one hair on the goddess's body. Right? And there's billions, trillions of different trees, cedars, and acacia, maple, around the world in different climates, right? Planet, planet Earth, Mother Nature. Not to be disconnected. Right? And I'm looking down, staring in this laptop, recording it, doing this live stream. It's connected to the Wi Fi and this connects to the centers, computers of Facebook, where here or California, one hacker drive or whatever. The address is here in California, right? And it's connected via the 
internet service provider and this is connected and potentially connected to millions of computers or millions of smartphones across the world at this moment in time. And at this moment in time, what well, now is getting stormy, looking like a storm and a lightning and of rain here in Hawk Island, Montreal, right? Big metropolis of 2 million people with the big metropolitan area, more than 4.5 million with the north and the south shore integrated into the, it's known as the greater Montreal area, metropolitan area, as most urban centers have that, the greater area of, right? A million of people. Canada, I think, we're 37.8 now, almost 38, almost 38, almost 38 million in Canada, people. As an American who wasn't born in twice in past lives, that way, 156 years ago, 718 miles, he was fully served in the, the U.S. Army. Do you believe in reincarnation? No, I do. I believe in reincarnation, and I'm not as a universal spiritual teaching student. There are many other who do believe in it, who do believe in reincarnation. Right now as I'm speaking, a lustful thought came into my head. What am I going to do with that lustful thought? I'm talking about spirituality here. And I had a lustful thought of XYZ, rainbow ways, cuckold XYZ, BDSM switch, BDSM switch, BDSM switch. <laughs> Boom. Well, there is a, a spiritual spark in that, in sexuality. The other day I was walking, marching, right? I'm marching, marching. And these young youngsters said something. They, I, I blessed them. I said, bless you with love tonight. And one of the youngsters, he said, well, I'm gay. I said, cool. I said, I'm pan bisexual. He said, bisexually, I'm pansexual. So it includes being bisexual. And he said to me, anonymous, anonymous I'm going to fuck him in the ass. <laughs> I started laughing. <laughs> I, said, <"What?" laughs> I said, hell yeah, man. <laughs> And I kept on my march, and he sent the kiss, he sent the kiss, and I sent him a kiss back from afar. <laughs> well, not that far, but I started marching. With consent and hygiene, why not? Right? It's a liberation of, a, of an energy, which in itself, some might view it as, and some view it and ha use that term, Degrading, where you degrade yourself, debase yourself by degrading. Now we're degrading. It's lacking a certain understanding, right? Of it. So it's not in nature. It's not in. You can't generalize that. Not in nature. It's in. It's in our. Homosexuals nature is a nature to homosexual erotic love and pleasure man. <laughs> Fucking cool. <laughs> Bisexual when somebody says it's not in their nature. That's in that person's nature. If we can adopt simple principles, harm none. Harm none. We have aggressions, right? We have violence, we have resentments, jealousies. And if there's no solutions found, or there's always this one point, the impasse, impasse, impasse has to be broken, has to have a solution to certain things. Because we are diverse. I admit, you know, live stream, taking a meditation, do another quick meditation on this of a scientific nature. Right now I'm live streaming with a smartphone. I'm recording with the laptop to post it on YouTube. It contains scientific elements. But all the components, the elements, the elements, the elements, whether the metal, 
the aluminum part of the gold the fiber to make it the smartphone and it comes initially from those elements they're put together with the science and the knowledge and the capabilities to produce it to make it all right so scientists laboring in science and vision labor with the mind looked at the microscopic 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 level and discovered all these things and discovered and put the processes together and by experimentation and experimentation and experimentation and the smartphone can we credit the smartphone to Steve Jobs Steve Jobs Steve Jobs yes maybe based let me know and it's connected with the Wi-Fi and how that goes with the waves unseen the th things that are unseen unseen that go at the microscopic level right just like when I say I use the more spiritual mystic way I say all A L L fruits vegetables and legumes are made created and produced by the dance of the goddess with her bird the sun sure take the scientific viewpoint rays of the sun constantly coming down the black fertile earth with the green within the black fertile earth with the water and the rays makes the sunflower grow makes the coffee bean grow makes the wheat all fruits vegetables and legumes this banana does this banana has to be eaten soon ASAP today this banana comes from a banana tree right on the black fertile earth with the water and the sun rays now in this banana there's concentrated sunlight in this banana what there's con scientific that's science science also now I say it in a more spiritual and esoteric manner more occult manner sure meaning that the whole nature for me personally is a temple 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 and internally the body is a temple for pleasure and purpose our bodies are temples for pleasure and purpose our bodies are temples for pleasure and purpose that's why my theories citizen integration theory death refusion theory democratic fusion theory the dragon Global Dragon Union, the Universal Dragon Workers Alliance, which I'm calling on to be to complementary covenant cooperative institutions, the establishment of a new world order of world peace, international justice, secured and ensured global freedom and attaining harmony between civilization and nature, to move towards a new economy of pleasure and purpose, towards a new economy of pleasure and purpose, towards a new economy of pleasure and purpose. And I'm not perfect. That issues, vices, get moody. Well, with all that, I am for the greater good. I do want to give and receive pleasure. I want to love, L-O-V-E. L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E. Love for me is also action. If now, let's say I'm Hawkeye of Montreal at the Belvedere with a microphone X, Y, Z. And there's a few people, a few of my willingly loving allies and armies. Nobody's watching this, but that's okay. Keep on rolling in the free world. <laughs> Maybe there's an application, got a few. What are those um, hacking techniques? Um, SMSs, uh, those silent NSO Pegasus, silent NSO Pegasus, silent NSO Pegasus, SMSs. <laughs> Maybe somebody's could listen to me in theory by the application with the. It works with the. 5G networks where they're around the closest one cell phone connects and in theory they could be they have to be within a certain range but in theory stingray 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 hey RCMP Canadian CSISS <laughs> the ones listening as I say there's a group of 10 that are listening there one of them is LGBTQ is chewing his nails man dragon man I'm LGBTQ I'm part of the RCMP but I forgot to mention that when I joined <laughs> are the Marines, US Marines 
generals. You didn't put that there. <laughs> you want me to take orders from any leader of the free world? <laughs> any leaders of the free world? <laughs> Leaders of the free world. And then freedom. Freedom is a double-edged sword. <laughs> heavy to lift. My tiny hands. Too heavy for me, do I admit it. For my solo to lift the sword of freedom. Perhaps if my sister helps. Well, a second thought, she can lift it by herself. <laughs> freedom, how do we define it? And rather, and then ensure and secure it. Tough, not easy. Take my own LGBTQ liberation. It's come blood, sweat, and tears. Let's not get ourselves delusional that has come for me through blood, sweat, and tears. Has come for Canadians through blood, sweat, and tears. North American civilization, Western civilization, and global, cross worldwide, international. My fellow LGBTQ community, rainbow community, is. An international part of a nation across nations, right? Not come without blood, sweat, and tears. And again, now I'm gonna put another cup of coffee and I'm gonna go straight into the straight into the question of LGBTQ spirituality. Embodied, seen in the flag. Seen in the flag. The LGBTQ flag. What do we see? A rainbow. Confluence of integrated colors. Right? The rainbow flag. Confluence of integrated colors. We see red, white, well white is there because it's the heart, but you see the seven colors of the rainbow, blue, purple, yellow, green, orange, red, right? No flag of any country or state has so many colors in the flag, and that shows the diversity. And within the LGBTQ liberation, there are sparks of spirituality, new energies, right? energies of love, energies of love, energies of love, which, as I've said before, somebody who hasn't lived homoerotic lusts or haven't, hasn't had homoerotic desires or lusts or experiences or or is homosexual, bisexual, or pansexual, or part of the LGBTQIA+, right? Or androgynous, like me, has two genders. There are many genders. The gender fluid, right? The trans. I was a woman and a man in many past lives. I was a priestess of the goddess Artemis. I was a priestess of the goddess Artemis. I was a priestess of the goddess Artemis. Past lives. Many incarnations, many past lives. Here, April 10 on Hawk Island 2022. Using the highest technology available, smartphone. Creating thanks to my friend, oftentimes teacher, one I love and call sister, an upgraded Wi-Fi to connect the Wi-Fi and I'm live streaming in potential to more than myself and my <laughs> on this live stream. <laughs> The energies of LOV, of love, 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 which can, can be intense, can be intense, intense, intense. Take pride parades. I don't know how many are going to make it this far. I'm only 44 minutes, so I might have lost everybody after four seconds. How many of you have been at the Pride Parade? I've been to a few Pride Parades. Been androgynous, pansexual, marked seven years in the Halloween past. Halloween. 
see the parade, the dancing, the liberation, and queer music, and music, and the costumes that we wear, right? <laughs> Myself there with rainbow costumes, and all sorts of hats, and all sorts of dance, colorful, colorful, colorful. Well, within the LGBT community, and we are a minority, I think millennials, North America, about 7% of millennials identify as LGBTQ, or no, that's Gen X, 5%, how many it was a recent study I think 5% Millennials and Gen Z there is those born in 1995 and 2010 are growing they're they're seven I think percent so it's still a minority 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 we are a minority everywhere <laughs> right here in Montreal Hawk Island we have the gay village thank God is God is God is right how many people are of course in the closet there are many 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 oh, in the closet. And these are energies which a lot of people cause has caused it is causing and cause tension right the lgbtq tensions what are spiritual traditions or xyz and do not speak for other religions or philosophies or XYZ, right? I support in solidarity LGBTQ nation across nations within all cultures and religions and across borders and nation states, of course. Fellow LGBTQ from prosecution, from persecution, from whether of a social, political, or spiritual. So, the flag reflects the intense spirituality, intense spiritual potential within the LGBTQ community. Fundamentally, the love that can reflect in two men, two trans, a trans man and a trans woman. Kissing and dancing together, kissing, nicking, during a pride parade. Right? There's also a spiritual energy in that, and it's the energy of love. Some people, unfortunately, say oh, it's degrading, debasing to human nature. Cannot apply to human nature. We're so diverse in our varieties of tastes, likes. Human nature, it is in their nature. It is in my nature. It is in your nature. You can even go astrologically it's because of astrological signs right I'm a Scorpio getting orders from a Leo child I'm a Scorpio woman getting my orders from a Leo child Scorpio woman getting my orders from a Leo child and I am androgynous man and woman woman man both <laughs> I am both gender fluid androgynous 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 Many past lives, many incarnations. The flag reflects that intensity, which is very spiritual energies, which which can manifest in physicality or physical representations, such as a lewd dance, which involves a trans man and a trans woman, let's say. Or a gay couple dancing, twerking. Say twerking is not for men. Says, Why not? <laughs> Be growing that peach myself. I bought a more, more ass than Kim K. <laughs> Seriously, I was in my field checking out the other day. I said, I'm working on my twerk game. Um, beginner, beginner, beginner level, but the catch up fast. A week or two, I'm gonna be level up my twerk game. <laughs> Dancing, it's a form. Pride parade, so much spirituality in there, but a lot of people don't see it. Some people don't see it, I see it. And there's this release of new energy, new light, new spirituality of love, but love that can also manifest in these colorful, diverse, manifestations such as 
gay couple dancing twerking kissing or a trans man and a trans woman embracing kissing or somebody dressed with all the colors of the rainbow and tattoos and with the paraphernalia of a parade of a pride parade where you find yourself surrounded by a lot of colorful individuals who are part of the LGBTQ community and these energies are mainly fundamentally from the love urge from the urge to love and to be loved or to express a certain energy which has been released when right? you take dance it's the world's weirdest living millennial the rainbow dancing poet within my dancing I release energies and I connect with energies energies of nature energies of being and energies of potentiality now it's to express in the more sophisticated cosmopolitan and news language which were perhaps more obscured and and confused and elucidate or illuminate is connect with with nature with nature nature and the sun stars the human beings and the food which we eat right the food right. let's say right now maybe I had a disgusting thought to somebody if I would have expressed it I would have offended <laughs> even myself <laughs> was there an energy in that was there a creative energy in it yes how maybe what XYZ but to be to have that responsibility as a universal spiritual teaching student I also have questions there's many things that are mysterious that are better left to mystery a mystery like take the pyramids right? take the pyramids right I don't know how they were built. I was there in a past life. Do not know how they were built. I was there, I do not know. What I do know is I was the Nile. It was growing fruits, vegetables and legumes, making beer for the priestesses of the goddess Isis. And I did feed the workers. I fed the workers. I was spiritual. Did embalming, did farming, embalming, and washed the temples of the priestesses, and sometimes provided water and as a private massage therapist for the priestesses. <laughs> I don't know how they were built and. It's a mystery with satellites we have more satellites are being launched now ICBM rockets supercomputers the smartphone and the building of the pyramids is still a mystery right how they were built speaking about the Great Pyramid Giza that there's three of them the Great Pyramid complex near Cairo Giza 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 plateau Giza complex how were they built I don't know I do know that they're not only tombs but temples they're not only tombs and but also temples they're not only tombs but also temples and you see inside the beautiful hieroglyphics which contain symbolic architecture oh yes I did say architecture the hieroglyphs are the symbolic architectural representation of a universe this is perhaps my own unique contribution to the ancient Egyptian thought. My theory is that the hieroglyphics and the depictions are also mystic or mystic scientific representation or depictions of the architecture and the forces thereof, the energies of the universe. That the hieroglyphs are 
holy mystic scientific language of the architecture of the forces, the energies and the confluence of the architecture of the universe, which includes nature, nature, mother nature, sun, and what have you. I'm going to say a joke. I want to say a joke, a joke, a joke from a past life. In a past life was a Jewish woman, a Jewess, a Jewish woman, a Jewess, Jewish woman. And was a, was, a, was an artist, a cabaret dancer, performer, and was an adult entertainer. Was a, not a prostitute. I was a sex worker, was not a prostitute. Was a sex worker, not a prostitute. I was a sex worker and cabaret dancer, adult entertainer and an artist at the same time. So all that in a past life. So in Berlin, between 1925 and 1937, I worked at the special cabaret late night adults um, entertainment cabaret in Berlin but during the day it was a place where people came for coffee for lunch for breakfast and so I was serving and um, three gentlemen at the table it was a priest during the day it was a normal cafe place with lunch and croissants and pastry and coffee and tea was a normal at night Friday Saturday Sunday turned into the cabaret priest a rabbi and um, Alistair Crowley the poet and they were there discussing and mystic ideas and the priest the rabbi and the mystic poet Crowley they were arguing back and forth and it was a heated discussion and I was bringing them a plate and I put the food and uh, I served them and I overheard their discussion and I started giggling and laughing and they asked why are you giggling why are you laughing I said well because you're your your discussion I overheard you're speaking loud and it just made me laugh so well, how come what do you mean I said well it was just because you're discussing the um, the exodus from Egypt and it's, it's afternoon and it's it's a sunny day I just find it funny but why did you find it funny you don't believe in it they asked me questions if I believe in it I said yes but in a more mystic way more symbolic way more allegorical way and he wanted to hear it why did you love it I said, well, and I asked him a question well you say that the gods of Egypt were overthrown by by Moses right and the priest says yes firmly and Rabbi said yes of course and he said Alistair Crowley's bangs he said that's what it says I want to hear what you say and bangs is three times on the table I said well is a Jewish cabaret performer and servant the restaurant said he might have overthrown some or most of the gods of Egypt but not the ch chief one and not the chief one says the priest the rabbi says not the chief one he overthrew them all of them Alistair Crowley hmm, what do you mean say well and I pointed up they looked they said what not the Moses didn't overthrow Ra. He said, otherwise, we, we, I would have brought you the food and I would have uh, spilled it on you. I would have tripped. I wouldn't be able to see.
They are mysteries. That we simply do not know and have speculations about. We can do meditations. Look at a beautiful afternoon. Look at all this majesty of nature. With all the flora and the fauna, with all the fauna and the flora, all the fauna and the flora, which hopefully we're gonna attain harmony between civilization and nature equilibrium or balance right? and love and love and love and love is also action it's like the body is a temple for pleasure and purpose well, later today most likely I'm gonna take a bath a bath and Stay in the water for at least an hour or an hour and a half, sometimes three hours. <laughs> My long baths and meditate, just be in the water. The elements. I don't claim to know all the answers. I don't claim to, to know all the information about divinity or godliness or spirituality I have some theories speculation not perfect I feel I get upset get moody and get angry I get triggered Spirituality of eating. When we eat, we release and incorporate energy, which can allow us to do X, Y, Z. But art, or write a poem, write a song, work, or volunteer, dance, give somebody a massage, a hug. To love incorporates us the ability for us to love, and bring somebody pleasure, the sanctity and the holiness of pleasure. And there's a sanctity and the holiness of pleasure. Right. Inherit. So when I touch myself, there's some pleasure, but there's a little bit less than when somebody else will give me a massage or I give to somebody a massage than when that person would give himself or herself or their themselves a massage or a neck rub it feels good i love to touch and give pleasure by the touch to to be touched to be massaged it's a desire it's a craving something that i want to offer and give and receive give and receive give and receive because love it can be blah 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 well <laughs> blah 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 is sometimes it's too much theory too much even i now I've spoken what an hour, right? Sometimes it's action is required, doing is required, coupled with being, right? Being. Gratitude, thankfulness. How we're interconnected in our ability to do and do X, Y, Z, and Y, Z, Y. The holiness of food, and the sanctity, sacredness of food. How vital it is. To do a meditation. This cup of coffee. Coffee, I don't know where. The origins of it. Well, actually, you do know this one. The other one, I didn't know it wasn't marked. This one. From what I do know, it's supposed to be from Colombia. A cup of coffee. It's supposed to be from Colombia. It grew with the black fertile earth and the water and the rain. And the farmer harvested and it traveled a few thousand miles and it arrived in Hawk Island, Montreal. Where the truck 
most likely by the train. Right. And now, 4.16 p.m. here. Still more than three hours of sunlight. So it's getting dark, stormy. Still early in the afternoon on the west coast. Sun is shining, rising and setting now at this point in time. Hopefully somebody's kissing, making LOV right now. <laughs> Do a meditation. About everything that we have, let's say. In terms of food comes from nature part of it with the labor 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 of the brothers and sisters with the farmers truckers grocery store clerks who put in those bags of rice those bags of coffee all produce goods 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 now east west north south right but it enables us to do whatever we're doing now so I'm doing this meditative rant back to the LGBTQ flag the LGBTQ community some originally say ah it's degrading it's XYZ it's because they lack an understanding or experience of what it is an experience of what it is an experience of what it is and a lack of understanding for dealing with a certain issue or a certain thought to repress it my advocacy and my practice is to channel and sublimate the correlative words sublimate and channel sublimate and channel sublimate and channel whether it's sexual energies or impulses or desires it's been the I think 9th 10th or even 11th weekend which has worked for me. I set myself a rule, a discipline, that I'm only gonna watch pornography during the Sabbath of the Dancing Goddess and the Dragon Kingdom Sabbath and the Phoenix Sabbath. It was truly begins Friday at midnight, ends ended Sunday 3 p.m. 37 hours, 49 minutes, 42 seconds. Almost 38, almost 38, almost 38. For the recreation purpose and pleasure dance to work out to do xyz right lov overly love 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 freedom is a double-edged sword you secure and ensure freedom and admit i'm gonna admit i am below mediocre i fucking suck at it basketball I suck at XYZ, I suck, I'm mediocre average or below average or I fucking suck at a lot of things. I'm great, world's greatest living dancing millennial rainbow poet. Not the best ever poet, that was Alistair Crowley, but I'm, I'm world's greatest living rainbow millennial, 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 rainbow poet. Dancing millennial rainbow poet, no doubt. Buzz dance moves like no other, coupled with poetry and philosophy. Universal spiritual teaching student, but with a foot in the lower, with a foot in the higher. Don't play self righteous. Now repressing, channeling. So for the past weeks, it has worked for me. I've integrated that. Uh, integrated a discipline that will only watch pornography during the Sabbath has worked for more than 10 weeks I've not watched porn during the weekdays work marched exercise volunteer work during the weekdays Sunday to Friday midnight. Cleaned. 
wrote philosophy, poetry, workout, workout, train, exercise, the investment in the body. The body is a temple for pleasure and purpose. Spiritual karma, try to be balanced in harmony. Give to charity if I can. Less selfish. Less selfish. Not easy to understand some situations, certain spiritual forces, spiritual, such as as relating to my fellow LGBTQ community and the representational. ideation of the flag the mystical spiritual ideation representative of the ideation of the spirituality inherent in the flag of which that these seven colors represent the confluence of diversity and of an inherent new energies that have been released and are being released and are being permeated in society and with the tensions which has created and the debates and the conflict and the arguments and within families and themselves and within societies and spiritual traditions and religions and political ideologies and philosophy, X, Y, Z, right? Some people say, well, it goes against human nature, not against our nature as LGBTQ people, it's our nature. It comes from a love urge. Love urge. Love urge. Which to repress or to negate makes us ill man makes us suicidal i've been there been depressed been suicidal using sublimation art creativity and some humor some humor some comedy also is necessary to be able to kind of laugh at oneself or the silliness of a thought or and then the feelings can be more dark more negative aggressive feelings or you know xyz to be understood and channeled understanding one nature is not easy to do i don't claim to understand fully i've explored parts of self which are more dark more unadmitted what carl jung called the shadow right in a psychosexual sense so sublimating and channeling sublimating and channeling sublimating and channeling the workout train exercise train workout exercise it started raining pouring Pouring rain, maybe thunder, or mind a storm. As we need the water, to the fire, both holy, water and fire, fire of holy. See, now, when water is being, is raining, fertilizing the earth, if I had a bit of sunlight, a sun ray before, it went into the black fertile earth. How deep, to what depth? May the grains grow, may the flowers, which are inherent in the seed in the earth, whatever those seeds are, coming from above with the sun rays. The seed, different seeds, so many fruits, vegetables, and legumes are made, created, and produced by the dance of the goddess with her brother, the sun. So much variety, just so much, so many different coffee beans they are. This one from what do know comes from Colombia. See the honey. The honey I've showed you comes from two countries. Ukraine and Thailand, right? It's a blend. It's a mixture of the honeys. But it's not special. Not special. Fruits, vegetables, and legumes. Wheat, bananas, oranges. All fruits, vegetables, and legumes are made by the dance of the goddess with her brother's son. Our brothers and sisters, farmers harvest for us to make, upgrade, or maintain civilization. These farmers need to be massaged, kissed, and feet washed by the leaders of the free world, man. <laughs> to recite a mantra, a spiritual mantra. Say one simple the body. Is a temple for pleasure and purpose. The body is a temple for pleasure and purpose. The body is a temple for pleasure and purpose. Another one. Love is action. Love is action. Love is action.
not just blah blah blah. <laughs> right. Do something for somebody. Pushes us to certain action. Is a massage giving or receiving a massage spiritual? Doesn't seem like it. Seems totally devoid. It's physical, the hands, the body. What's spiritual about it? All the pleasure, it's spiritual. Say, ah, oh, I feel so good. Ah, oh, my neck rub. Ah, oh, I feel so good, right? Ah, oh, I feel so good. Feels good. Feels good. Consent. With consent, with consent. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy, man. Say I'm lecturing, doing a spiritual meditation. And people like in front of me well, decide to start kissing. I'm, I'm going to encourage that behavior. <laughs> you start chanting, dancing. They start massaging with consent. Give each other a massage while I discuss spirituality. Give each other a massage. I encourage such behavior. <laughs> see a gay couple kissing in front of my spiritual lecture encourage such behavior kiss kiss good <laughs> massage massage good <laughs> suck suck good tickle tickle good lick lick good twerk twerk good <laughs> right why not Somebody says, ah, oh, well, God says, I don't know what God says. It's okay for my goddess. <laughs> it's okay for my goddess. It's okay for my goddess. Ah, ah. Seven holy, sacred, and divine name. Among names. Goddess. G-O-D-D-E-S-S. Well, I hear God, God, God. <laughs> and that's another... Dilemma we have, my brothers and sisters. I was gonna say we're in Western civilization of the world for that matter, but in other cultures, the goddess is right. The goddess is other spirituality, other occults, more occult, also esoteric traditions. There is a goddess now. I'm not gonna go into Da Vinci Code speculations and mystic Da Vinci Code speculation, Miss Da Vinci Code speculation. Or Mary Magdalene. I have the Mary Magdalene project, which I've started. Which I do believe Mary Magdalene was a priestess, X, Y, Z. My own speculation, theories, whatever. Doesn't matter. But as now, say it with me, goddess. You see, people say God, God, God. Well, <laughs> see, doesn't there doesn't come that easy, does it? For a lot of people, to say that. I hear people, God, 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 most spiritual teachers or whatever, whatever they are. God, G-O-D, God, G-O-D, God, G-O-D. God, 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 but where God is at? Well, round about, man. Round about, all around, all around. Just a piece of dust. Look at the trees, how majestic they are. Seven times my size, three times my size, six, whatever. And there's one here on the goddess's body, these trees all around, east, west, north, south. Majda dances with her brother the sun and will dance with her brother the sun with her long after I'm gone, Adrian Hunt of Dragon and when I'm gone, do the dance with the goddess of her brother the sun and towards the star and imagine me kissing you from the stars, man. Drink, kiss, love, tickle, dance, kiss, tickle, dance, love, kiss, massage. <laughs> kiss, massage, dance. <laughs> goddess. How do we connect? We can connect by doing meditation. Going to the names, many names. Am I, am I worthy enough to pronounce the secret name of God and the goddess? No. <laughs> I get thundered in my head. <laughs> I get thund thunder in my head. Or many books, many books. I was in the city of the pyramids. Maybe the pyramids there. It's 
hieroglyphs for presentations. <laughs> That's the temple. <laughs> the whole nature is the temple. Sun rises and sun sets any given second, any given moment, at any given point in time. And we connect. Look at this blue, blue, blue sky. Another temple. <laughs> It's water on fire, water on fire. Goddess, 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 goddess. The goddess. All around us. We feel when we went to a forest, on a mountain and see the forest. What do we connect? The flora and the fauna. Fauna on the flora with the fauna on the flora, but in the goddess, right? And above the starlit heavens, and so many stars above us, right? Which we could see when for light pollution and in big cities or in other circumstances, we would be able to see it better. There's so much light and light, there's so much mystery. This planet, Mother Nature, greatest artist and scientist. Spirituality in a dance. My dances, sometimes for fun, for pleasure, just because I feel like, I feel the music, but it's also to connect. How do I worship, or how do I connect, celebrate the goddess who dances with her brother the sun? The meditation and dance, I celebrate, I worship, I adore, I so we try to connect through dance, connect, adore, worship, to dance, and in the connection to, to the universe. The universe. Do I lust? Do I have feelings which are of a lower nature? Yes. Do I try to sublimate and channel? Yes. I try to sublimate and channel. Writing poetry, going on marches, doing a workout, training, exercising, reading education staring at the sun give me some light give me a goddamn tan <laughs> go on the mountain mountain well and breathe the fresh air the trees are starting to green again contemplating and meditating too while eating doing a chant Meditating on the Bible, which has mysteries, right? A few mysteries of the Bible. I can name a few. And of course, in the Torah, still the Ra in the Torah. <laughs> have many words which, which, which are ancient Egyptian, of ancient Egyptian origin. The mystery of biblical historical figures, the mystery that it's from ancient Egypt. If it's from ancient Egypt, it's from ancient Egypt. The mystery of Genesis chapter 50. Read Genesis chapter 50 and let me know if you made it this far. Read Genesis chapter 50. How come? Wow. Isn't this something? Mystery, the biblical stories which contain mystical and allegorical expositions, 
and mystical teachings. Some perhaps I'm not worthy to learn or to know or to divulge. How much do I know about this? I'm going live stream now. How much is in my smartphone? Stingray, where are you at? East, west, north, south. You're on the east, there on the Stingray, right across. It's your truck. <laughs> Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Stay two meters away. You ain't got love. Social distance from Major Nun and Dragon. So love will move along. So love will move along. So love will move along. <laughs> Sunday. do I have fantasies or sexual desires which to some seem perverted yes yes yes
Imagination that somebody asked, say one, doing one of those interactive interaction Q and A, Q and A, Q and A section, and, and asked, um, "You don't hunt a dragon? Are you a hoe?" Say what you mean? Say are you a whore? So I answered, "Holy whore!" <laughs> <laughs> My answer would have been. A holy whore. Holy whore. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Not a ho, a holy ho. Not a whore, a holy whore. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering what spawned the laughter was that little imaginative, creative interaction between Adrian Hanna, dragon, yours truly, androgynous, pansexual, founder of the dancing goddess in the dragon kingdom, and one potential of my willingly loving allies and armies, pledge your allegiance, legions. <laughs> <That is, laughs> yeah. yeah. friend engaging in some BDSM switch with yours truly anyways main message 93 minutes I'm gonna close in 93 holy sacred for my 93 gang non-sectarian all willingly loving join yours truly most important message fundamental the essence after in these 93 minutes of a rant spiritual is that is this make love tonight because life is fucking short brothers and sisters make love tonight because life is short brothers and sisters make love tonight because life is short brothers and sisters <laughs> for world peace <laughs> <laughs>